So yeah, Nordic business community. So I'm here at the rebellion of uh, Extinction Rebellion, Finnish Elokapina. And it's protesting or demonstrating for a world without overconsumption. And I think for us as a business community, or me at least seeing myself as a member of the Nordic business community, I feel that this is very relevant for us to think about. That this generation, and it's, well, not generation only, there's like young and old here, these people here who are aware that overconsumption is killing us. We must take this into account when we are looking at what kind of business we are involving ourselves in. What kind of products we are producing, what kind of services we are offering, what kind of motivations we have behind what we are doing. Because overconsumption means consuming our planet and that means consuming ourselves. It's like really simple and I think we all understand this. We don't need to be really wise to understand this. And yet at the same time we continue producing spoons and cups and other stuff in a world where there are already more spoons and cups and other stuff than people. When we think about the priority of the well-being of life in all its diversity to have as our number one priority in our very own interest, in the interest of our businesses, or the survival of the people inside, behind and in front of these businesses, then we must understand that the world is an ecocentric one. We cannot choose not to be ecocentric. It's just we are part of the natural world. So we are part of the same limitations, possibilities, responsibilities. And to me that means that we have to understand that our priorities must be chosen accordingly. And this is the pro our priorities as private people, not to do or want or have or want to have anything that is not primarily serving the well-being of life in all its diversity, the well-being of our planet. And so, we can quite easily imagine how that kind of world would look like. That would mean not doing anything that we don't know is a positive handprint. So when we understand this why is our motivation, and that our motivation is not to be a worker or CEO or a customer of a business uh, so that we can earn money to take care of our survival priorities, but that we need to take care and invest ourselves and connect with each other, ourselves and the rest of nature to take care of this planet, then we understand quite easily what we need to stop doing and what we need to be doing instead. And once we have this why sorted, and to me the reason of life is exactly this why, to just serve life, then it should be easy to just not take jobs anymore that are not fulfilling this criteria. Like, they would be more happy with any kind of, like, how and what, once we have this why sorted. And high-level sustainability and deep nature connection, they are our lifesavers. Not just more sustainable for the books. It needs to be honest. Otherwise, we could as well just speed up our involuntary suicide, which I don't think anybody wants to. So, any time, anyway, have a good life, everyone. Bye bye.